The African Peer Review Mechanism APRM is a mutually agreed instrument voluntarily acceded to by the member states of the African Union o as a self-monitoring mechanism. It was founded in 2003. The mandate of the APRM is to encourage conformity in regard to political, economic and corporate governance values, codes and standards, among African countries and the objectives in socio-economic development as well as to ensure monitoring and evaluation of O Agenda 2063 and SDGs 2030. Topic. Africa's self-assessment for good governance A specialized agency of the African Union o, the African Peer Review Mechanism APRM, was initiated in 2002 and established in 2003 by the African Union in the framework of the implementation of the New Partnership for Africa's Development NEPAD. APRM is a tool for sharing experiences, reinforcing best practices, identifying deficiencies, and assessing capacity building needs to foster policies, standards and practices that lead to political stability, high economic growth, sustainable development and accelerated sub-regional and continental economic integration. Member countries within the APRM undertake self-monitoring in all aspects of their governance and socio-economic development. African Union o stakeholders participate in the self-assessment of all branches of government, executive, legislative and judicial, as well as the private sector, civil society and the media. The APRM review process gives member states a space for national dialogue on governance and socio-economic indicators and an opportunity to build consensus on the way forward. The APR Forum of Heads of State and Government adopted the 2016-2020 Strategic Plan and the APRM Statute at the 25th Summit of the APR Forum held in Nairobi, Kenya. The 28th O Assembly of Heads of States and Government further extended the APRM's mandate to include tracking of the implementation and overseeing the continent's key governance initiatives. In addition, the O Assembly further extended the mandate of the APRM to include monitoring of the implementation of the African Union o Agenda 2063 and United Nations Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, Agenda 2030. Topic. Four types of country reviews 1. Base review, carried out immediately after a country becomes a member of the APRM. 2. Periodic review every four years. 3. Requested review, requested by the member country itself outside the framework of mandated reviews. 4. A review commissioned by the APR Forum when there are early signs of pending political and economic crisis. Topic. Four thematic areas. 1. Democracy and Political Governance DPG. 2. Economic Governance and Management EGM. 3. Corporate Governance CG. 4. Broad-Based Sustainable Socioeconomic Development SED. Topic. The Five Stages of A Peer Review Topic. 1. Consultation The APR Secretariat and the country under review consult on the process overview in terms of the Memorandum of Understanding Mo. The country under review creates a focal point to liaise with the Secretariat and provide it with relevant laws, treaty ratifications, budgets and development plans. The Secretariat prepares a background assessment document. At the same time, the country under review independently completes the APR self-assessment questionnaire, gathers inputs from civil society and drafts a paper outlining the nation's issues and a national program of action NPOA with clear steps and deadlines on how it plans to conform to APRM codes and standards, the African Union Charter, and UN obligations. The country review team that is set up writes a report outlining issues to be focused on during the review mission. Two. The review mission visits the country under review and conducts broad-based consultations with government, officials, political parties, parliamentarians, and representatives of civil society organizations e.g. media, academia, trade unions, professional bodies, and the private sector. The mission typically lasts two and a half to three weeks. 3. Draft report The APR country review team drafts a report on the country under review. 
4. The peer review takes place at the level of the APR forum, using the APR panel's report on the team's findings as a basis. The APR forum discusses these recommendations with the reviewed country's leadership. 5. Final report Within six months, after the peer review, the published country review report must be tabled in sub-regional institutions Pan-African Parliament, African Commission on Human and People's Rights, O Peace and Security Council, Economic, Social and Cultural Council of the African Union The report is then made publicly available. The second generation review The objective of the APRM Second Generation Review is to assess progress made in governance and socio-economic development in member states in the period since the base review. The specific objectives are to reinvigorate, rationalize and institutionalize the APRM in governance reforms within a member state, appraise to what extent the National Program of Action NPOA is implemented and its continued relevance, on the basis of which a new NPOA with a few key actions will be proposed, facilitate the development of a second NPOA with greater focus and based only on key actions, and make the APRM review process more relevant to citizens' needs, more cost-effective and in tune with the Agenda 2063 priorities and goals. What happens after the country review? The National Program of Action NPOA is divided into short-term, medium-term and long-term goals and is continuously monitored by the National Governance Commission, Governing Council, or a smaller body of state and non-state representatives. Progress reports on implementation are presented annually to the APR Forum. The APR Secretariat follows up on commitments made, holds regional workshops to share best practices identified in the reviews, and offers technical support to fulfill APRM plans. Governing bodies of the APRM APR Forum Committee of Participating Heads of State and Government Highest Decision Making Authority APR Panel Panel of Eminent Persons Oversees the review process to ensure its independence, professionalism and credibility, and reports to the forum. The APR Panel is also responsible for selecting and appointing and the review teams. Committee of Focal Points Committee of Representatives of Heads of State and Government Manages the budgetary process, resource mobilization through member states, strategic and development partners, and the APRM Trust Fund and Audit. National Governing Council NGC. The National Governance Commission – National Governing Council NGC is the body that oversees implementation of the APRM process at the member state level. In addition to providing guidance in terms of policy direction, the NGC ensures professionalism, credibility and independence of the national APRM self-assessment and review processes. The NGC is composed of key stakeholder groups from government, civil society and the private sector, in line with the APRM principle of broad-based participation. APRM Secretariat Provides technical, coordinating and administrative support services. It must have sufficient capacity for the analytical work that underpins the peer review process. Topic membership of the APRM Membership of the APRM is voluntary and open to all African Union o countries. Accession begins with an expression of interest in membership followed by the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding between the country and the APR Forum. 37 member countries Algeria Angola Benin Burkina Faso Cameroon Chad Côte d'Ivoire Djibouti Egypt Equatorial Guinea Ethiopia Gabon Gambia Ghana Kenya Lesotho Liberia Malawi Mali Mauritania Mauritius Mozambique Republic of Niger Namibia Nigeria Republic of Congo Rwanda Sao Tome and Principe Senegal Sierra Leone South Africa Sudan Tanzania Togo Tunisia Uganda Zambia Topic Strategic partners The APRM has entered into special support agreements with partner institutions designated by the forum as strategic partners. 
These are, African Capacity Building Foundation ACBF, the African Development Bank AFDB, Mo Ibrahim Foundation, United Nations Economic Commission for Africa UNECA, Office of the Special Advisor on Africa OSAA, United Nations Development Programme UNDP, Regional Bureau for Africa. Contact USPO. Box 1234, Halfway House Midran 1685, South Africa. Physical address, No. 230, 15th Road, 1st Floor, Rangespark, Midrand, 1682 Tel, plus 27-11-256-3401 Website, www.aprem-o.org Follow us Facebook, African Perumechanism Twitter, at Apiarmorg YouTube, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash Apermechanism Download a PRM app on the App Store or Play Store Topic See also new partnership for Africa's Development African Union's topic Bibliography topic APRM Documents APRM Base Document The APRM Base Document Memorandum of Understanding on the APRM The Memorandum of Understanding Mo Guidelines Guidelines for countries to prepare for and participate in the APRM Organization and Processes Organization and Processes The Objectives, Standards, Criteria and Indicators for the APRM Accessed on May 27, 2006 Topic critiques and studies of the APRM process and analysis of the implementation of the African Peer Review Mechanism in Ghana, Kenya and Mauritius Grant Masterson, ASA, February 2005 NEPAD's APRM, A Progress Report, Practical Limitations and Challenges paper by Aisha Kaji on the APRM, 2004, accessed on May 27, 2006. Becoming My Brother's Keeper Ifrika October 2003 by Ross Herbert, accessed on May 27, 2006. The APRM Process in Kenya, A Pathway to a New State? Report by OSIEA, AFRIMAP, April 2007 Critical Review of the African Peer Review Mechanism Process in Rwanda Report by Ligue des Droits de la Personne dans la Région des Grands Lacs LDGL, January 2007 Between Hope and Skepticism, Civil Society and the African Peer Review Mechanism Partnership Africa-Canada, October 2005 Strategies for Promoting Effective Stakeholder Participation in the African Peer Review Mechanism, UNECA, 2005 Inadequately self critical, Rwanda self assessment for the African peer review mechanism. Edouard Jordan, African Affairs, April 2006. Effective stakeholder participation in the APRM process for the promotion of democratic governance. A case study of Ghana, Eric Apoku, UNDP, December 2006. Ghana and the APRM, a critical assessment. Adoti Bing Papo, AFRIMAP and OSIWA, June 2007. The African Peer Review Mechanism in Mauritius, Lessons from Phase 1. Sheila Bunwari, AFRIMAP and OSISA, August 2007. Further analysis of the African Peer Review Mechanism and the ECA, OECD DAC Mutual Review of Development Effectiveness in the Context of NEPAD report to the UN High-Level Task Force on the Implementation of the Right to Development, January 2008 The African Peer Review Mechanism, Lessons from the Pioneers, Ross Herbert and Stephen Gruse, South African Institute of International Affairs, March 2008 Civil Society Participation in Uganda's APRM Process Juliet Nakato ODOI, Seya, June 2008 Assessing South Africa's APRM, an NGO Perspective, Nick Hutchings, Mukulani Dimba, and Alison Tilly, Seya, June 2008 Addressing the African Peer Review Mechanism's Programs of Action, Fatan Agad, Seya, June 2008 Understanding APRM Research, Planning, Process and Politics. A Practical Handbook for Peer Review Research, George Katito, Seya, June 2008 the African Peer Review Process in Nigeria, Adel Jinadu, Aframap, August 2008 Benin and the African Peer Review Mechanism, Consolidating Democratic Achievements Giles Bidet, Aframap, August 2008 Making the News, Why the APRM Didn't, Brendan Boyle, Seiya, September 2008 Media Freedom, Transparency and Governance, Raymond Liu, Seiya, September 2008